Welcome to the Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, popularly known as IIRS. Located in the foothills of the Masuri Hills in the beautiful town of Dehradun, IIRS is a constituent unit of Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Government of India. This continuously evolving entity is today a premier internationally renowned institute for capacity building, research in the field of remote sensing, geo-information science, satellite positioning and navigation technologies for natural resources mapping and monitoring, infrastructure development, environmental and disaster management. The foundation of the institute was laid on 21st April 1966 under the aegis of the Survey of India as Indian Photo Interpretation Institute or IPI with the collaboration of the government of the Netherlands. The institute began its first postgraduate diploma program in May 1966 for mid-career professionals in four disciplines, namely aerial photography and photogrammetry, forestry, geology and soils. During the initial years, International Institute for Geo-Information Science and Earth Observation ITC faculty were deputed to IPI for supporting its training programs. The Institute's present campus at Dehradun was inaugurated on May 27, 1972. Later, in July 1976, the Institute became a part of National Remote Sensing Center, NRSC. Erstwhile, National Remote Sensing Agency, NRSA. The Institute was renamed from IPI to IIRS in 1983. With time, New disciplines such as urban and regional studies, marine and atmospheric sciences, water resources and geoinformatics were introduced. IIRS has been a part of the erstwhile NRSA till 2011. For ensuring efficient utilization of earth observation systems and ISRO's forthcoming initiatives, IIRS became an independent unit of ISRO on 30th April 2011. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all at Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun. Thanks to the visionary efforts of the leadership of ISRO and ITC Netherlands, this institute was built in 1966 when remote sensing and space technology was at a primitive level in this country. Today, we are a unit of Indian Space Research Organization which is dedicated to the capacity building in the field of remote sensing and GIS. IIRS Dehradun is also actively involved in developing capacity towards remote sensing and GIS for developing nations like Africa, uh, countries of Latin America, countries in Southeast Asia and Pacific region. Through its ITEC program, IRS is engaged with large amount of countries and we have conducted training programs for more than 96 countries. Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun is also actively involved in research and development activities using Earth observation data from Indian satellites for various applications. In recent years, disaster management and distance learning programs are also introduced to further strengthen the scope of capacity building and skill development on mass scale. The capacity building programs of the Institute are designed to meet the requirements of various user segments such as at middle and supervisory levels in government departments, fresh graduates, researchers, academia and decision makers. The duration of courses ranges from one week to two years. In 2002, to enlarge the scope from training to education, MTech and MSc programs were started with the collaboration of Andhra University and Faculty ITC of the University of Twente, the Netherlands, respectively. Today, Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun has emerged as a leading center for developing capacity building in the field of remote sensing and GIS through its various educational programs like MTech, MSc and PG Diploma. The Institute also houses the headquarters of Center for Space Science and Technology Education in Asia and the Pacific, SISTEEP, affiliated to the United Nations and offers postgraduate program for national and international participants since its inception in 1995. The primary objective of this center 
is to develop the human resources in the Asia and Pacific region, wherein they can utilize the space science and uh, earth observation information for various development activities of their regions and also for disaster management. This is without looking for support from outside whenever there is a crisis in their own countries. So it is more like making them empowering to handle themselves whenever there is a requirement for development or for disaster. The training and education programs are meticulously designed by the domain experts under the guidance of Board of Studies and Academic Council. IRS is also the nodal center for conducting remote sensing and GIS courses for United Nations affiliated Center for Space Science and Technology in Asia and the Pacific. It is also called as UN SESTEP and also for the ITEC program of the Ministry of External Affairs of the Government of India. Many of our trainees and students are serving as geospatial leaders in government and industry sectors. I know the Indian has got number of satellites and in the remote sensing ground they are doing excellent and we are benefited, we learned these things and we will uh, apply to our uh, department as a whole my country will be benefited. Presently, scientific, technical and techno management activities are carried out by three groups, that is Geospatial Technology and Outreach Program Group, Geosciences and Disaster Management Studies Group, and Program Planning and Evaluation Group, with 11 departments, namely Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing, Geoinformatics, Geo Web Services, IT and Distance Learning, Geoscience, Disaster Management Sciences, Agriculture and Soils, Forestry and Ecology, Marine and Atmospheric Sciences, Urban and Regional Studies, Water Resources and Budget Planning and Monitoring Department. Along with this, a dedicated team of Personnel and General Administration and Construction and Maintenance Division facilitate administrative and other support to the Institute. Program Planning and Evaluation Group is involved in all techno-managerial activities of IIRS and SISTEEP, including budget, projects, and student affairs monitoring. IIRS provides training and education through research. This unique way of capacity building calls for techno management of various programs and projects undertaken at IIRS and it has been looked after by the Program Planning and Evaluation Group that is PPEG. PPEG also takes care about various student affairs and in fact, PPEG acts as an interface between the students and the IIRS. In the last more than 50 years, IIRS has trained a large number of professionals and students, including participants from 96 countries. Upon my arrival here, all the introductions and all the modules that have been given to us with regard to remote sensing have been of high benefit to me. And I'm, I'm of a, a high uh, prestige that uh, are also going to benefit my ministry. Remote sensing in GIS is uh, useful to uh, identify features by their characteristic, and especially uh, water resource, uh, water bodies. For my country, uh, water resource is very important. Only 18% of water is formed inside of country, and for monitoring and Analyzing water resources, we can use remote sensing and GIS and their applications. IIRS has also started its outreach program in 2007 to strengthen the academia and user segment in space technology and its applications using online learning platforms. A countrywide network of knowledge institutions has been set up where a large number of participants is getting benefited. The online courses are offered in two modes live and interactive mode and e-learning mode based on the concept of learning anytime, anywhere. Around 900 academic and government institutions across the country are networked with IRS outreach program and every year around 20,000 participants benefit from these program. Along with this we also organize special programs for various government ministries and government departments under the national flagship program. We further intend to extend our network nationally as well as internationally to cater to the large user segments of the society. 
Research and development form an essential part of the activities of IIRS and the Institute has carried out many pioneering studies. Recently, IIRS has designed and developed geospatial solution for forest fire reporting, consisting of an Android-based mobile app and web-based dashboard application for Jammu and Kashmir State Forest Department. The app enables intuitive user interface geotagging of sites along with various details about forest fire event. Geological mapping of Kumaon Himalaya was a landmark study which is referred even today for various other geological studies. Integrated surveys in Karimnagar district, Andhra Pradesh, for resource planning has paved the way for nationwide project on integrated mapping for sustainable development, popularly known as IMSD. Pre-feasibility studies for hydropower projects in the Himalayan region and development of methodology for landslide hazard zonation are some of the other examples. A flagship activity for development of methodology for the National Carbon Project under ISRO Geosphere Biosphere program was also successfully completed. The flux towers were established at Barkot and Haldwani in Uttarakhand to measure carbon flux, which are first of its kind in the country. IIRS has also initiated multidisciplinary and multi-institutional research program on mountain ecosystems and services, processing and applications of microwave, hyperspectral and high-resolution satellite data are the current thrust areas of research. During the last five decades, the infrastructure of the Institute has grown with many new facilities such as state-of-the-art distance learning center, lab and field instrumentations, data center, computing infrastructure including high-performance computing platform, modern library with digital resources, students' hostels, creche for children of working women, recreation facilities like all-weather swimming pool, indoor and outdoor gymnasium, etc. IIRS campus is highly secured with round-the-clock security provided by Central Industrial Security Force, CISF. Infrastructure and facilities in IIR is a world-class in nature. Uh, scientists uh, here are uh, very uh, knowledgeable, highly qualified and uh, they can extend uh, technical support whenever required. And I feel very privileged to be here and it's a good opportunity to carry out high-end research. Apart from the rigorous training activities, IIRS staff and students actively participate in cultural and social activities. IIRS contributed in different government initiatives such as Swachh Bharat Mission, Digital India and Smart City Planning. IIRS is developing new mechanisms such as distance learning programs, webinars and online content generation for reaching out to large number of students. IIRS continues to grow and evolve with a vision to achieve excellence and remain in the forefront for capacity building and research in remote sensing, geo-information science and their applications.